40 feet below Chicago, there are miles and miles of fiber. Chicago exists despite all odds, right? The Chicago Fire happened in 1871. This was the fastest growing city in the country at that time, and it decimated downtown. You know, we did kind of get a redo that a lot of other major U.S. cities didn't get. So through a lot of brilliant engineering over many, many years and state planning, Chicago is kind of this great behemoth. It's smack dab in the middle of the country. So it's great from a transportation standpoint, and also it's really a digital crossroads. We've always been kind of well poised to take on whatever new technology, whatever new industry is coming to change the fabric of the country. Chicago and metro environments, they're tough to do business in where we're going to be successful in those situations is having the right team and the right people in place for it. HPK is a professional services engineering firm. We have been working with Lumen since 1999. I think we're at a really exciting time in the fiber world right now. It almost feels like some of these technologies came out of nowhere, they just came really fast. So it's, you know, this crazy balancing act that's gonna happen. We want the technology, we also have to manage that with city infrastructure that is a century old. My name is Vernon Fair, I work for Lumen. My job scope is pretty much trying to figure out how we can get fiber into your building. This is what's called a tunnel bore manhole. This is where we actually bore down 40 feet to the tunnels. And then the tunnels actually extend all the way south, starting through our routes through Chicago. We're lucky in Chicago to have a tunnel system. It makes my job a lot easier. So this is an old map of the tunnel system. I've seen this print before. Yeah. yeah from 1932. It just kind of shows the vastness of it, right? So the freight tunnels were originally permitted in 1899 for a telephone operator. They also ended up placing a two foot wide track throughout those tunnels to carry coal, mail, timber, anything you can think of without having to disrupt street side traffic. They were decommissioned in 1959 and they were almost forgotten. And then somebody had the bright idea that, you know, we could actually place fiber infrastructure down there. I really want to give kudos to the legacy companies that built this network in some cases 80 years ago or 30 years ago. We're in that position where we should be able to put fiber in the ground faster than anyone. We have the infrastructure in place and now we're going to utilize it. We're building 18 miles of underground infrastructure throughout the city of Chicago as part of a larger 150 mile, 151 mile build between Chicago and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Underground, heading north, this is our path to Milwaukee. This bill is important because in the tunnels, we're still actually two separate fiber companies. Once I get into the tunnels, I'm tying those two networks together, one big happy family. <laughs>